Hi everybody, welcome to Axe and Root Homestead. If you're new here, happy to have you. Uh, also, you can find me on Instagram for our daily updates at Axe and Root Homestead. Um, so today we are doing a quick demonstration on how to make homemade elderberry syrup. I think that elderberries um, are a great immune support during the cold and flu season. So what we are going to do to make our elderberry elixir here is we need one 20 ounce package of dried elderberries. We have them available on our website at axeandroothomestead.com. These are 100% organic elderberries and there's no additional flavoring or additives in this kit. In addition, I have measured three and a half cups of water in this small sauce pot. It's a little full to the brim, but I wanted you to be able to see it bubbling here. I am going to sweeten my elixir with honey from our own hives. Now, if you're pregnant, nursing, or have a child under the age of one, you can also sweeten with agave syrup, maple syrup, or even table sugar if that's your preference. As for supplies for this simple elixir, I just have a little container here to store my syrup in when I'm finished and a strainer to strain out our elderberries. I think that an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure, and so I take a tablespoon of this elixir every single day. One teaspoon is the recommended dosage for children. So we're gonna let our elderberries and our water hang out here and simmer for about 45 to 60 minutes. And then we'll come back, strain the berry solution here into our jar, dump the extra berries, sweeten with maple syrup, uh, table sugar, agave syrup, or in my sake, honey. And when it's cool, we will store in the refrigerator and it will last up to two months. Okay, so we have been boiling our syrup here for 45 to 60 minutes. So we are finished with our boiling time. Before I pour it directly into my jar here, which I'm not sure is heat safe, I'm going to put it in this Pyrex or a tempered glass dish. I like to use the back of a spoon after draining off the initial liquid. Sort of press on those berries and drain out any additional syrup. I am going to let my just about a cup of elixir here cool down in this container and when it's reached a little more than room temperature is when I'll sweeten it with my honey. Our elderberry syrup has cooled to room temperature and so what I'm going to do is add fresh unfiltered honey uh, from my own hives here on the farm. I add about six ounces. Um, again, I'm using honey here. If you're pregnant or nursing, you could use uh, maple syrup, agave, or table sugar. Same for children under the age of one. And this sweetener not only helps to obviously sweeten your syrup, but it creates a nice thickness to it as well, so that you don't basically just have a water solution that you're taking as your daily syrup. All mixed and fully stirred. which means it's now time to pour. Into our bottle. And let's not forget my favorite part, a tablespoon a day for adults, a teaspoon a day for other children. is so delicious. All right, I hope that you have found this tutorial helpful. Thank you so much for your interest in our elderberry syrup video. Again, you can find me on Instagram at axeandroothomestead, and you can find our elderberry kits online on our website at axeandroothomestead.com. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe.